Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Draw with T slash Draw with Tay. So, you've seen me draw gestures twice, and you've seen me draw horses technically also twice. Um, even though one of it, one time it was horse hooves, it still counts. So, in today's episode, I combine the two, and that's right, I am drawing horse gestures. So the idea here is the same as um, as doing human gestures, figure drawing. It's uh, giving yourself one minute to 30 seconds um, to basically capture the uh, pose, uh, pose the life, the, the whatever, the gesture, as you will, of the subject. Um, traditionally, obviously, that's humans. Um, since I was going to be drawing horse-related things that you'll see in the next episode, I decided to do horses, and um, I did this once before. It didn't end the greatest, but I learned a lot about horses, uh, which you then kind of saw me apply in the um, 1080 horses episode a while back. Um, yeah, so one-minute horses. They're really hard. Um, I've kind of gotten good at getting um, a human's two legs to be about roughly the same proportions and shapes when I draw them for a minute. Uh, horses are hard. In fact, my weakness with all animals is getting the two sets of two legs to match up on the same plane, and it just never goes well. Um, if I manage to get two front feet on one plane, the back feet are going to be longer, usually. 90% of the time they end up longer, and I think that's just because there's more like knobs and knees and bends and stuff, and also by the time I get to the to the rump end of an animal, I'm like feeling confident and I feel like drawing bigger, uh, even even in a minute. So um, again, this is uh, gonna be a quick episode. I'm technically it's not a speed draw because you're watching me draw at 100% speed, and I have to say. After seeing me draw at like 200 to 50% speed up, this feels really slow. Um, which is ironic because when I was in it, when I was drawing, I'm like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I have 60 seconds to, uh, to get this down. And I found myself focusing a lot more on the legs than anything else. And gonna be honest, I'm not really impressed with any of these, but uh, I mean, I, I don't know what, uh, what I'd expect for a minute considering I'm not a horse artist. Um, yeah, there's not a mu much life to these, just not much fluidity in hindsight, which is usually what you're after with um, with gesture drawing. You're just trying to grasp the gesture, you, you do a quick spine, you, you, you put down the limbs, you get the sense of movement, and these feel very much like... You know what, these remind me of... The drawings that I did, the just the first time I started gesture drawing um, on my own, and I kind of had no idea why I was doing the exercise. I didn't really have an idea what it was supposed to do. I just thought that as an artist, I was supposed to somehow draw some magic uh, in like 60 seconds or whatever it was, and uh, it just didn't happen. And, and you know, this kind of reminds me of like a year or two into it when I kind of had a little bit more of an understanding of what I was supposed to be doing, but I was still trying just to, just to, just capture what I saw. Not even thinking about how I could, with one line, sweep, you know, do the, do the spine and the, the far leg or something like that. You know, do an arm that also encompasses the half, you know, lower half of the body or anything like that. I was just trying to make marks and just trying to make sure that there was a head, a neck, a body, and four limbs roughly where they were supposed to be. And I am drawing the most atrocious faced. I believe it was a mule. So here's the thing. Um, I believe I've linked you all before in previous episodes to the uh, figure drawing generator that I use. And those people on that website are awesome because they also have one dedicated to animals. Now, the thing is, it's not as robust a database as the uh, one they have for humans, but their horse one's all right. Um, honestly, I think if you drew horses from it for a week, you'd probably see the same couple horses so often you'd, you'd be sick of it. But if you're like me and you just kind of check in every now and again, you maybe you just need horse poses, you just want to warm up and, you know, kind of 
figure out how the legs work, something like that. Um, yeah, it's quite quite good. I'll uh, try to leave a note to um, myself to uh, link you guys to that. Um, I believe, you know, you shouldn't have to remind me. I should should be good about it this time. But uh, if not, if I've forgotten, please leave a comment and I will uh, add it. You know, this one here that we're looking at, that drawing I just did, probably the best one. Um, so if you guys are artists and you struggle with this, just, you know, these, these sort of gestures, whether it's horses or people, just know that that's normal. Um, honestly, with art, if you're practicing something, it should honestly probably be a bit frustrating um, because you're trying to fix something that you're not good at and if you're not good at it you're usually frustrated. Uh, I don't know too many people who are happy happy joy joy when they're sucking at something uh, unless they, they, they know or believe that they're gonna get better. Uh, I wish I was one of those optimistic people. I'm honestly really not. I just kind of get crabby when I suck at things and I'm like oh, I'll never get better. I'm trying to get better at that. And uh, I think I have, you know, I'm just kind of viewing art as a journey, not a destination. Yeah, so the, these horses, I guess some of them are interesting. Um, when I look at it, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's some there's some cool lines in, in some of these. Um, obviously, I'm not expecting great results, but I just really, it'd be amazing if, um, if I was good enough that... Uh, it, like that the drawing felt like it was alive like it was it might be stick horses but it was it that it was stick horses running across the page with that sort of majestic grace and fluidity that horses have gonna be honest I'm not actually like there's a lot of horse people you know you know who I mean like people that just love horses and, and I and they like seeing art of horses or people that just draw horse art and those people are amazing and cool but I'm not one of them. Um, there's something ma there's something about horses specifically. I don't know too many cow artists. Um, you know, maybe some pet artists, but even a lot of them, you know, they they branch out into other animals. But like, ho there's like something special about horse artists. It's like a thing. You can just be a horse artist. It's actually pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah. Oh, and here I am <laughs> sharpening this pencil. So unfortunately, this pencil like grabbed um, this. HB number two is kind of a little broken on the inside. It might actually be my my sharpeners just hit an age where it's not really sharpening very well. But yeah, we'll come to that in the, in another episode down the line eventually. So uh, I hope you know what, guys. If you're artists, if you're looking to do gesture work, um, let me know if seeing this stuff at like real time speed or you know like 100% speed as opposed to sped up. Let me know if that's helpful to you guys. Um, this one in particular, I'm not sure if you should be basing what you draw on this, but you know, if you haven't done it before, hey, honestly, just putting marks on the page is what you need to do. You don't just put marks on the page until the marks start to look good, and then that's kind of when you need to start focusing on the type of marks you're putting on the page. Once things are looking good, and you're like, well, yeah, you know, it, it is a horse. That's where you need to start pushing it, getting fluidity, getting that sense of a horse running across the page, and learning what lines you can leave out. Um, now that I've seen this, I kind of wonder, maybe I could have just ended the, the limbs of the horse without the hooves, just kind of had these weird little sort of stick shapes. Maybe the hooves weren't really all that important as much as if I put the time into kind of putting the body at full tilt. I'm not, I don't know my horse terms all that well. But uh, yeah, you know, like I keep saying over and over again, one page of a sketchbook is not enough to really learn anything. At best, it's enough to make you realize that there's a journey ahead, like, oh, wow, this is harder than I thought, I guess. I guess this is gonna take me longer, or wow, um, I'm actually quite good at this thing, or you know, oh, there's this one thing I need to work on. I'll move on to that next. That's about all it can do. You know, it's you're not gonna, you can't draw one page of horses in a sketchbook and bam, you're 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 making horse art and you're selling it for millions. You know, you, you never. It's not like you're never gonna ever draw a horse again because you're just so damn good at it. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense at all. Like, if, if you're gonna draw something to get good at it, 
guess what? You're going to draw it again and again and again, especially if you like it. Um, and if you like people, well, you're going to be drawing people for your entire career. That's that's just how it is. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I don't know. There, there's some things... It's odd. In the art world, there seems to be some things that people want to get out of the way so they don't have to do it again, but uh, you always have to do life drawing studies. You always have to study anatomy. You always are going back to color, to composition, to, you know, all the gestalt principles, all, all this stuff. You're always, always going back to it. Um, you know, it is always something more to learn. doesn't matter how good you are. Art is a journey, not a destination. Um, but if any of you have any great tips for how to draw horse hooves on 60 second horses and to make them look really good without spending like 15 seconds on just the hooves, let me know <laughs> because that's what I was struggling with. Just hooves are complicated things. Yeah. Anyways, um, I'm signing it now, so I'm done. Um, you guys have a good night, or whenever you're watching this, and I hope to see you in the next episode. And uh, let me know if you're an artist, if you do gesture drawing or not. <laughs>